Good day and welcome to another Inventor Dips and Tricks video. Now I want this one to be quick, although I don't think it will be because apparently I can just talk the back leg off of a donkey. But I have every intention of it being quick and you'll get to the point. Right, what we're looking at today is a command that's so underused, it's so infrequently used by the general Inventor public that in a world where Autodesk have brought back everything back onto the ribbon bar, they've still left it off. It's under the modify panel in a in a part, obviously, because that's what the, the tool is. We're doing something to a part. Uh, it's under the modify panel. It's this one here. Bend part. Now, I don't apologise. If you've searched the internet for models with bent parts and you've come across the wrong kind of material, then jog on, sunshine, because you'll not find any of that around here. This is professional and legit material. Bend part. What is it? Well, bend part is a throwaway from a kind of a sheet metal kind of world. You're taking an object and you're bending it around a bend line. You know, it is sheet metal-esque. But we can do it on anything. It doesn't have to be metal. It can be a, a, a part that's made of plastic. It can be a plate. It doesn't have to be tubular like this one here. I've got this grill thing going on here, which is tubular. It doesn't have to be. It can be a plate. It can be flat. It can be anything. So what you need to get cracking is you need a part, some solid like this, and you need a bend line. But Tell me, how do I get a bend line? You're waffling, sunshine. How, how do I get a bend line? Well, a bend line is just a sketch line. That's all it is. Think of the bend line as the center line, of like a pole. You think, think of it like a solid pole, like you're going to bend this part around. You're going to just like crank it up against it. You're going to whack it against this pole, and it's going to bend around that pole. Well, that's where your sketch line is going to be. So it's usually, think of it as like it's a center line. And it's got to be just a normal sketch. Now, because I'm pro and I've modeled this to best practices, all my origin planes go through the middle. So I can just create a sketch on one of my standard planes, like this one here, like XZ, and it'll go sliceage through the middleage, like that. There you go, look at that. Yeah, right through the middle. Now, it, it actually does matter where your bend line intersects, because if my bend line, think, just say if that, like, that axis there was my bend line, it's going to bend it around the center. So the, the, it's going to actually bend it. The center of the bend is going to be where the line's intersecting. So if it was, if the bend line was sort of touching the front, like tangent face of that tube, it would bend it around that face, if you know what I mean, touching the face. So it does kind of matter where the bend line is if you if you into being precise about it. So whether you go through the middle of your part or you're on the top of a face of a part, it does matter. It will affect the bend. But you, you're intelligent, people. You'll be able to figure that out once you start playing around with it. All right. So, how do we now start modeling bend lines? Well, it's just a sketch line, that's all it is. So just draw a line, and the first thing to note here, first tip, is your bend line doesn't have to go all the way through, right? It, it, all you do, and all the all inventor needs for a bend line is a direction, that's it. So we're just going up, it doesn't have to go all the way through. And what you also shouldn't do is make it a construction line, because that just won't work. It has to be a proper sketch line. But you don't need sizes on it, you don't need constraints, you don't need nothing. Just a directional line, that's it. Finish your sketch, and you're now ready to rock and roll. So go to your modify panel, click bend part, and then pick your bend line. And then you should get a preview looking absolutely baller. And that's what it's going to do. It's a pretty solid preview. Gives you a good idea of what it's going to do. And then the second thing to note, the second important thing to remember about bend part, is it affects the entire model up to this point. You can't really say to it, I want to bend only some bits of the model. No, it's going to, it's like shell. If you shell something, it shells the entire thing. So it's one of those things that you have to do lay, as late on as possible. I mean, once you've done bend part, you can then edit things and bend things again and make further modifications to it, but it will bend everything you've done up until that point. So the settings that we've got here, now you've got a couple of different settings with regards to how you control the bend. Now, I don't know what you're doing, what are you doing? You, you, it, do you really need to be so precise that you need to specify the arc length of the bend, or do you just, most people are just gonna need the radius and the angle. The radius, which at the moment is set to 50 mil, if I get a better view of it, the radius is that bend radius there. That's 50 mil. Think of it like a fillet. If you were to place a 50 millimeter radius fillet on something, imagine what that would look like. It's going to be the same size as that. So if we were to bunk that up to 100 mil, you can see that bit there's got bigger. It's now a 100 mil radius fillet around the bend line. And if we just look straight down, you can see where it's bending as well. It's bending around the center line here. That's where my bend line was. If I put the bend line here, we get a slightly, slightly different effect. 
then you can't put your bend line over here as well because it would just again start to, to be a bit weird it would start you'd start to get some unpredictable results so you yeah you'd be a bit careful where you put your bend line but like i said you can play around with that as much as you want angles now the angle is it, oh, come on man i'm explaining this but you are intelligent man you just know what the angle is going to be it's this bloody thing here it's obvious so if we change that at 90 degrees well you're going to get a perfect right angle uh, between that bend there so if we were just carry that straight down and then down to there that's a perfect 90 degrees around the bend line symmetrical it's all symmetrical and you can change how it bends as well so you can say well at the moment we're bending on both sides so we're bending at 90 degrees around this this bend line on both sides but you can say just bend this line here on this side of the bend line or you can go on just this side so this bit stays put and then it bends it around here it's you might be thinking to yourself, this is this is tosh, this is bobbins. Where am I going to use this? Or you could be thinking, this is mint. I can use I could have used this. I've done this manually. I, I swept this, I sketched that out once and I could have done well, you know, it, it, it might be useful, it might not be, who knows? And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. You click OK and then you've bent your part and it looks pretty neat actually. I mean it is pretty handy. I can't, well I haven't I've obviously known about it for years. It's been in the product for years, but I, I used it yesterday when I was just messed about with something. Uh, it was this thing here and it's just to, just to reaffirm that you don't need to be working with a tubular object i used it for this bit here so there's a bend line sort of going i think it's through there yeah there's my bend line there and I'm, i've just bent like a metal plate up like that and this bit here that's a bend part so if i drag this up here there you go look at that and then bend part and then a little funky couple of fillets and stuff and yeah so the application for it is uh, is quite large. You can uh, you can use it for anything, but like I said, a few things to think about where your bend line is, and the fact that it bends the entire thing. You can't pick and choose what it does and doesn't bend. So thanks. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please press like on the video. Press dislike if you're a knobhead. Press subscribe if you want to see more videos from me because that's dead good. I'm just, thanks to everyone that has subscribed. In all seriousness, thank you very much for everyone that has subscribed. I'm seeing a very steady increase of subscribers every day and with some people with some funny names. You guys have got some funny, especially the Chinese. If you, if you are Chinese, do us a favor. Can you like put an English translation of your name in the comments? Because it, it just looks, it just, it looks like wingdings. But I'm very appreciative of everyone that does subscribe. It, it makes me want to do more videos. And if I didn't get anybody to subscribe, I wouldn't have... The, these videos wouldn't exist. I'm waffling. I should end it now. I'm just making this video go on for even longer than it needs to be. Thanks very much. And until next time. Cheery bye.